Hello to everyone. This is Professor Masood Fuzail. Today we are going to discuss life cycle of filarial worm. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about Vucheriria. Vucheriria species. Vucheriria is uh, uh, specialized uh, worms which belongs to phylum Nematoda, and these they are usually known as filarial worms. Filarial mean thread. So these are very thin worms present uh, as a parasite in tropical areas of the world so these are known as filarial worms or thread worms the most common example of these worm is uh, vocereria bancrofti which is usually found in tropical areas of brazil malaysia and in the in their tropical country of the world tropical countries are usually very hot countries with lot of rain so these parasites are very common over there and uh, almost every year 250,000 people are infected by these types of parasites. So let's uh, discuss this uh, life cycle in detail. So first of all, uh, we will help, we will try to understand uh, this topic with the help of an example. A person who is visiting a tropical country, country like uh, Brazil, uh, when he arrives uh, in a country, uh, tropical country he stays there for a couple of weeks and after staying a couple of weeks he uh, suffered in a kind of a very rare kind of a condition in this condition his leg has become swollen like as you see in this diagram he went to a local doctor for proper medical checkup and doctor let him know that you have been suffered from a disease known as elephantiasis in which in this disease a patient has very thick or a large leg just like an elephant so that is why this condition is known as elephantiasis which uh, and this disease is very common in those countries so what happened with that person so actually when that person who went to a tropical country when he was sleeping he was bitten by a mosquito this mosquito was infected with a larva of filarial worm of vocheria species of vocheria bancrofti and how that mosquito was infected we will answer this question later on but anyhow when mosquito bit that person and it makes a tiny hole with help of the proboscis which is the mouth part of the mosquito through which it injects or sucks the blood of human so when it uh, tries to suck the blood so before sucking blood it uh, ejects a uh, filarial worm with saliva uh, into the bloodstream of that person so filarial worm when enter the blood capillaries uh, in of the of this person it reaches to the circulatory system and then it reaches to the lymphatic system of that person as you know that lymphatic system is a system comprises of lymphatic vessels, lymphatic ducts and lymphatic capillaries which collect interstitial fluid from all over the body and return back to the heart. So this uh, uh, worm with this larva um, grows and uh, develops into an adult in the lymphatic. So let's look at this diagram. So the larva which enters inside the body of the person has now developed into adult adult male and adult female because their shape is just like thread so that is why these are known as thread worms so in human uh, these worms are present in their lymphatic ducts so when they produce when they multiply when they lay eggs and from eggs new larvae are produced and the new larvae are known as micro filariae so usually they present in lymphatics but in the daytime they can also trans uh, transfer to the lungs of that person in the, during the daytime in the uh, lungs microfilaria uh, stay all time may, maybe because there is a more uh, oxygen available in the lungs so if there are many many millions of microfilaria present inside the lungs or in the lymphatic ducts they can block the uh, lymphatic ducts and uh, causes the 
interstitial fluid to retain in that part of the body so what happened with that person that interstitial fluid returning from leg to the blood has been blocked by filarial worms which are present in the lymphatic tract so this accumulation of the fluid inside the legs causes this situation which is known as elephantiasis now what happened this uh, uh, when doctor uh, when the person visited doctor doctor gave him anti parasitic medicine and uh, advised him to not to sleep in open air so that no other mosquito can bite bite him but that person ignored the suggestion and then sleep again in the in, a, in an open air so when he was sleeping during the night time these microfilaria worms move towards the peripheral circulation which is the circulation on the periphery of the body blood capillary is present under the skin so when these most, uh, when these filarial worm reaches the capillaries of the skin again once again another mosquito which uh, was not infected by microfilaria worm comes to suck the blood of this person for its uh, nutrition and with the blood it sucks the microfilaria worm and this mosquito becomes infected with microfilaria worm so during night because mosquito are nocturnal and usually attack on the human being sleeping at night so this uh, uh, larva is very clever and it comes into the peripheral circulation at the night time so mosquito injects microfilaria and from uh, uh, blood microfilaria worm reaches its its thoracic muscles in the next stage this is a stage 1 larva which is present in the thoracic muscles of the mosquito and after molting it develops into stage 2 larva inside the thoracic muscles and after again second molt these larvae molt again and then move into the proboscis and head of the mosquito and it will become stage 3 larvae now this mosquito is ready again uh, to bite another person another healthy person to transmit this stage 3 larva to a healthy person and when this mosquito will bite another healthy person it will transmit stage 3 larvae into the healthy person and that person will also become infected so in this way uh, mosquito mosquitoes are parasitic uh, vectors uh, which transmit uh this parasite from one person to another person so to to avoid this kind of situation and disease we must have avoid mosquitoes so we have to uh, be careful that do, no mosquito can bite you so in this way the life cycle of vocheria uh, vocheria species has completed i hope it makes sense and uh, hopefully i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye